Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Well, you may have heard of feng shui, and you may think that it's all about design, arranging your furniture in your house in a certain way to bring balance into your life. Well, how about applying that very same concept to your food? Well, that is exactly what cookbook author and Asian culture expert Ying Kompenstein has done. Ying, thanks so much for joining us this well, morning. We certainly having me. appreciate it. Now, you were just talking to me because when I think of feng shui, I think of you know furniture and design. Yes. But it's more than that. Yeah, feng shui is really about a balancing your environment, which including you know food, food. And so, like in the hot summer days, we want to eat food that cooling and also you know help us hydrate it. Okay, so what do we have here that will help us so keep balance in our life? We have all the, you know all, I created all these dishes, and here's the soba noodles. And those are chicken and the melon. So also we need to think about either food with pro high in protein and the whole food to help us to maintain our energy throughout the day. Okay, but how does that? Why is that called feng shui? Uh, so the feng shui, cooking? because within, I mean that's what we try to do just in any any kind of cooking, right? Right, right. And the feng shui is more about the balance. You know, think about balance and the environment, and the you know, think about food. So in the summer days, we really need to think about also balance our food. Okay, as you, well. And you also say that we so we need watermelon, for example, in the summer, yeah, which would be good for us. Yeah, to help us hydrated. Uh, and okay, and the fruits to have us hydrated. And, and then you also said spice is important for what? Spices help us stimulate our appetite. You oh. know, with the high the, stimulate the, your appetite. Yes. Okay. And like, uh, uh, would for example, here we have a chili garlic sauce, and that help you know the spice help us stimulate the loss of appetite due to the heat. Okay, so we shouldn't just have all watermelon, we should have a little bit of spice. What else do we need? And need the protein, to, you know, protein. here we have chicken and the tofu. Like uh, here I'm just going to show, you know, how easy to assemble like one dish here. We have a vegetable okay. and here's some a pear, which is okay. also the cooling spice. Okay. And uh, we have a cherry tomatoes. Okay. And all this is very easy, you can prepare ahead of time. And here we have a uh, Maggie chili garlic sauce. Oh. Uh, so That's here delicious. we're talking about the stimulate the okay. appetite. And the last we're going to add some uh, sesame tofu, both sesame and tofu are, uh, you know, cooling. Mm -hmm. um, is it also, let me, is it also about how you arrange it on the plate? Like, you know, we think of a feng shui arranging your furniture in a certain way. Yes. Is it about how you arrange it on the plate you as know, well? You know, always think about it, the color, color and the harmony. Harmony. Yes. You know, you have a red, we have a red, we have a green, and we have a light color. You don't want to have the food places all red. No. Yeah. So, okay. I just want to ask you before we wrap up here about your book. Because not only are you a cook, you're a woman of many talents here. Thank you. You're also uh, an author. You wrote D is uh, for Dragon Dance. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's, uh, it's about Chinese, uh, you know, dragon. And, uh, you know, I write a lot of books about Chinese culture and the food. Oh, uh -huh. And also I develop a lot of recipes. Like, for example, um, on the, the tasteofasia.com, I have a lot of recipes that go along with your zodiac. And the feng shui. Okay. And is this about the learning the alphabet, or is this it's about, about the Chinese balance. culture? You okay. know the alphabet, and also there's a recipe there as all well. All right. Well, it sounds good, and I'm gonna enjoy yeah, one of these. Just this. all right. Yeah. And the tofu. All right. Just really quickly because I am really hungry. I don't remember yes. when I. Last and uh, you know, for the uh, viewer, if they're interested, you know, make mm -hmm. a food that's really easy. They can go to. This is really good. Yeah. Very good. good. Mm hmm. Really good. And you know what? I don't like tofu. But this, this is, is really good. Yeah, the, the <laughs> sesame goes along well with tofu. All yeah. right. Yeah. Lori's well. laughing at me over there. Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Good luck with your book. And we have posted some of her recipes on our website. Just go to NBCSanDiego.com and uh, click on the Learn More icon. Lori, why are you laughing at me? I am really hungry. <laughs> but it is really, really good, too. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're so honest, Rory, and that's such a refreshing quality. And that food does look delicious. I can smell it over here. And I'll have a bite in just a little bit myself. But first, I have to tell you, we definitely have drizzle in the forecast.